a good Wednesday afternoon. It's our midweek Sila moment. It's Pastor Kenny. And as a part of our weekly devotional, we gather for a brief few moments to discuss and to ponder over a thought for the day that will help feed us as we go through the week. I want to lift in your hearing today Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23. Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm. For God can be trusted to keep his promise. Despite what's going on in our lives today, my brothers and sisters, despite what you're dealing with, the writer of Hebrews wants us to know that first of all, that we ought to hold on without wavering to the hope that we affirm. Our hope is in God. Our hope is in who God is. Our hope is in what God is able to do. Our hope resides in the one who is able to do all things but fail. The writer of Hebrews issues this clarion call to persevere to persevere in the adversity, to persevere in the difficulty, to persevere in the hardship, to persevere in the uncertainty. That they could persevere because they had a hope that was rooted in who God was. Their God, the writer lets us know, their God is the God who can be trusted to keep his promise. And as you go about your day, as you go about the rest of this week, regardless of what your circumstances might say, regardless of what things may look like, no matter how difficult the road ahead might seem, you be encouraged because you have a certain degree of hope. How do you know, preacher? Because you've placed your hope in a God that you've not seen, You've not laid eyes on, you've not touched a God. That all you have is his word and his record. His written word and his record in your life. So if you have those two things and you've ever seen God do anything for you in your days past, the Hebrew writer says, hold on without wavering to the hope that you affirm. And here is why. Because God can be trusted to keep his promise. If God said it, God will do it. You be encouraged. Despite how it may look, you be encouraged. Despite how it might feel, you be encouraged. And remind yourself that all of my help comes from the Lord. This has been Pastor Jay. This has been our weekly Sila moment. Think on these things as you go through these things and encourage yourself to be reminded of that you serve a God who won't lie. He'll keep his promise. Until next week, be blessed and be encouraged. See you